grand finals of the Meta Championship Series number 31. 31 Meta Championship Series. You could join them too by clicking join on YouTube. Join for free events, lots of events, free help, discussion, largest, most active Duel Links Discord in existence. Hop in, over 40,000 members. Let's go, Hajime. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at him. Let's go. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if it's up or not. We're gonna focus. All right, I, I think I was too late to it. We were discussing rulings. That's okay. Oh, Divine Wrath negate the Sulfonir by discarding a Sphere Karibo after discarding a Crystron Impact. Normal summons a Genex controller. Attacks directly for 1500. Let's get the voice lines on and everything on. Very good. Let's go. Sorry, we missed it. Draw a card set. Back to Urbel. Grand Finals, $1,625. He's playing level augmentation with Shiranui versus Christrons. Now, this is Ty that binds Christrons. No Mythic Depths, no See You Later. That is insane. We're going to activate Sulfonir a second time. The first time we activated it, it was negated by the Divine Wrath. Now, you cannot activate again. The turn, you activated it and it was negated, so you have to wait another turn. After destroying itself, he is summoning a Rosenix from the deck. This is going through. I could not believe it. Is this real? Black Rose Dragon, wipe the field. Wipe it all. Black Rose Gale. Negate. Divine Wrath, negate the Sulfonir. Fiendish Chain, negate the Black Rose Dragon. I activate my monster's effect. Activate this Fern in the Grave, banishing itself to add a Crystron monster from the deck. Smiger's the hand. Now he already used his Sulfonir. He has not normal summoned this turn yet. Already activated Sulfonir. Normal summons a Citri, which can use your graveyard to synchro on your opponent's turn. Ends his turn. Black Rose is not just negated, it cannot attack. Gonna flip up Ballista Squad in the end phase to tribute off the Spectral Sword to take out the Citri, which is going to be negated by the Christron Impact. Christron Impact says negate any card that would target a Christron and destroy it. Nice try. Watch this. I summon a monster. Normal summon a squire. Squire on summon. Going to activate to special summon a tuner from the deck. Level two tuner. Now, with the spectral sword in the grave, he will be able to synchro with the squire, which will summon another level six, which will draw a card and then discard a card. Samurai Saga is here. Spectral Sword from the Grave going to activate. Now the Citri could put all Special Summon monsters into defense. Come on out. I special summon a monster. I activate my monster. Revived King Hades is here. Draw a card, discard a card, discards a Fiendish Chain. He had to discard it. Unfortunately, he really wanted to have to have drawn a Shiranui to discard. Goes in onto the Citri. Citri's going to activate using the graveyard to synchro into a level five or a level seven. Which is it? He's actually going into a level six. What the? Going into a Powered Insectron, which rarely ever happens with your Citri. Banishing both the Rosenix and the Citri to make a Powered Insectron. Powered Insectron cannot be destroyed the turn it is summoned, and you take no battle damage the turn it is summoned. I will annihilate you. Zaga Zaga's resources have been depleted to make these plays. Denying the Black Rose Dragon pretty much accomplished what the Black Rose Dragon wanted. It 
The field's gone. Essentially, no back row cards, and he's got a bigger monster than the revived King Hades. He could very easily deal with that Samurai Saga, too. Sulfonir is going to discard a Citri, which is an unoptimal discard, but you got to do what you got to do. Sulfonir going to summon itself onto the field, destroy itself, then summon a Crystron from the deck. This Fern is here. This Fern popping the Powered Insectron to summon a Tuner from the deck. Normal summons a level three. We have two non-tuners and a tuner. This does not make the query on unless he gets a second tuner on the field. Smiger destroying itself to summon that second tuner onto the field. He's going for the boss monster. He's going for the big play. This is it. Synchro all three into level nine. Query on. Double tuner into a non tuner. Let's go. Get banishing. Banishing the spectral sword and the entire field. The samurai saga, when banished, is going to reduce the Quarion to 2,500. Open field, though. Nothing in the grave to negate. Attack. Lethal, TCG Urbel taking an epic game one victory. Black Rose Dragon may have been negated, but the Christron Impact negating the Ballista Squad, attempting to destroy the Citri, wins it for TCG Urbel, leading into Aquarion, wiping the whole field. Let's go. Squire on summon, summon a tuner from the deck. Level augmentation, boost up the field by plus four levels. This is gonna make a turn one sun saga. Sun Saga completely indestructible. Per sure knew what you have in the grave to banish to protect all of your monsters from destruction. Battle or effect destruction. Cosmic Cyclone, pay 1,000 life. Banish a back row card. I activate my Goodbye, Ballista Squad, which would have tributed a monster he controls to destroy a monster on the field or a back row card. Discarding a Smiger to summon Sulfonir. Sulfonir destroy itself to then summon a Crystron from the deck. This Vern is here. This Vern destroying itself to then summon a Christron from the deck. My special summon a monster. Citri is here. Citri could use the graveyard during your opponent's turn to synchro. Smiger banishing to grab a Christron impact. Christron impact will be used to summon that Smiger back onto the field. And the Citri could put the Sun Saga into defense during the main phase or the battle phase only. A lot of people forget that. Not looking good for Shuranui right now. Christrons have the full setup. Normal summoning a Squire. Squire is going to activate, summoning a tuner from the deck. Don't tell me this is it for, for Shuranui. Needle! Ceiling, needle ceiling, wipe the field, wipe it. All monsters on the field get destroyed if you control at least four. Four monsters on the field, wipe it all. Lance, oh no. Lance to protect the Citri from destruction. That was a complete backfire. Now Sun Saga is forced to banish the Squire to draw a card, then discard a card to protect his entire field from destruction. Citri is protected. That Lance alone is gonna win the whole duel. Come, on out. Come forth. 
Samurai Saga. He's battling, not using the graveyard, not going to synchro. Citri is going to activate. Special summoning a Thisfern from the grave. Going to synchro. Put all opposing monsters into defense. Amatrix is here. Activate. Zero defense. Sun Saga still protecting the field, but you're not protected from banishing. Will TCG Urbel be setting up for the ultimate Quarion? That is the setup. He is in fact setting up for it. I could not believe it. Activating Crystron Impact within the battle phase to summon a Thisfern. Could that be another Needle Ceiling? If it's another Needle Ceiling, then he is definitely still in the duel. Oh, I hope so. I hope we get a Game 3. Activating Thisfern, destroying the Amatrix, summoning a Rion from the deck, triggering the effect of Amatrix if he wanted to. He chooses to not activate the effect. Normal summons a Rion since the card was semi-limited. The Synchro is going through. He had to use his normal summon though, which means this is not lethal. Or is it? Quarion, banish the field. Three monsters on the field and or in the graveyard. Fiendish chain, negate. Negated. No effect. Nothing. The boss monster Quarion gets negated. He was banishing both of his spectral swords. I cannot believe it. He did it. He's thinking he has to destroy something. Destroys his own Quarion. Quarion, when destroyed, will summon a banished monster from either player's banished pile. I special summon a monster. Come forth, Citri. Synchro into level seven. He's not giving up. Just because he got Phoenix chained does not mean he gives up. Samurai Destroyer attack into the Sun Saga, negating its effect, not allowing him to banish to protect himself from destruction. Now, if we look in the graveyard, he's got two Spectral Swords, but nothing that could take out a Samurai Destroyer. That Sam D was the perfect card to use to take out that Sun Saga. He's going to summon a level six from the extra deck which will trigger the Squire to draw a card, then discard a card. Revived King Hades is here, but it's no match for the Samurai Destroyer. Draws a Karibo, discards that Sphere Karibo, which is a hand trap to stop an attack from your opponent. Useless against the Samurai Destroyer. On the attack of Samurai Destroyer, you negate the monster you're attacking into. Oh my Jesus! Lance to reduce the Samurai Destroyer. Zaga Zaga with the most epic comeback. Take out the Samurai Destroyer. Nothing to negate. Nothing in the grave. Zaga Zaga's got it. Lethal. Everyone thought that TCG Urbel had it. Zaga Zaga with the win. To be fair, I thought that TCG Urbel won also. Okay, okay. I knew it. Zaga Zaga with the comeback. Game three. Let's go. One true king. I summon a monster. TCG Urbel opening up with a Smiger. Smiger going to be destroying itself to summon a tuner from the deck. That tuner is going to be a Citri. Citri is going to use the Smiger in the grave to synchro on your opponent's turn. Zaga, Zaga, are you not going to open up with a Squire or a Solitaire? No monster 
no tuner, no solitaire, no squire, a brick. Game three in the finals? Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so, Zaga. Both players not opening up ideal. Tie that binds. He's about to attack with the Citri. Going in for just 600 damage. Poke him. He sets his newly drawn card. I cannot believe this. You're not the only one full of surprises. He's attempting to end his turn. Before ending his turn, which is ending the main phase, the main phase and the battle phase are the only phases you could activate the Citri. You could not activate it in the end phase. Citri is going to synchro using the graveyard. Come forth, Amatrix. With nothing to put in a defense, it's just a 2,500 attack monster. Then he goes through with ending his turn. Taunting Yusei to attack him. Gee, a Jack Atlas versus Yusei, by the way. Oh, yeah. By the way, wow. it's getting hot in here. Tie that binds. Boosting up the Amatrix. Going in for 2,600. It's not lethal, so he doesn't have to activate anything, but he still will. Sphere Karibo in the hand. We still do not know what his back row cards are. Negating the attack. Don't expect me to slow down. My turn. Pay attention to his newly drawn cards. There you go. Squire on summon. Special summon a tuner from the deck. It took a while, but he finally drew into his best monster. Squire pulling the tuner is ideal. The tuner, while in the grave, will synchro using the graveyard, just not the turn it is sent there. So next turn, big plays are coming. What he is synchroing into right now is a vanilla 2500 attack monster. No effect. Now, normally the Amatrix, its effect is summon a Crystron in the grave when destroyed. No Sulfonir. No Christron is summoned from the grave. It now looks like Urbel opened up worse than Zaga Zaga. If he draws into a Solitaire, then Urbel will be in a world of hurt. Christron Impact is going to activate to summon a banished Christron onto the field. He could have done this during the battle phase of Zaga's turn. He could have stopped his Amatrix from being... Well, he could have actually, he could have went into a Samurai Destroyer. He could not have made another Amatrix, but he could have done this to at least make a Samurai Destroyer. He's going to discard a Christian Impact to summon Sulfonir from the hand. Sulfonir will be destroying itself to then summon. He could have made an incredibly advanced play right here. We'll talk about it later, potentially. Sulfonir from the deck. I can't take this. I can't take this. I can't take this. I can't take this. I can't say anything. I can't. I can't. This is it. Black Rose Dragon. Wipe the field. Black Rose Dragon's effect activates. Go, Black Rose Dragon. Black Rose Gale. Wipe the field. Divine Wrath negating the Black Rose Gale. You will not be wiping the field. Negate the effect by discarding any card from the hand. Discarding a Spear Karibo. This just got real. Let's go. Focus. Normal summons of Citri is a follow-up. Gonna pass back to Jack Atlas. He's going to be able to synchro using his graveyard during the next turn. Let's go. No time to shake. Belista Squad is that play. He is in fact making a major play. This is the turning point of the duel. Tributing off his Samurai Saga to take out the Citri. Citri no longer will be able to use the graveyard to synchro on Zaga Zaga's turn. 
Lancia, Lancia right away in the draw phase. No banishing with the counter play. He just denied 5,500 damage. Zaga Zaga had lethal that turn. If it weren't for the Lancia negating the Spectral Sword in the grave, banishing from the grave to deal over 4,000 damage. Sulfonir activating, discarding the newly drawn Fist Fern. He needed to draw into a Crystron to make this play. Sulfonir is activating. Let's go. Destroying itself to summon a Crystron from the deck. Summons a Smiger. Fist Fern in the grave is going to banish itself to grab any Crystron monster. Grabs a Rion. Rion could use your banished pile to synchro. He is not normal summoned yet. He's performing his normal summon right here. Time that binds, boosts up the field by plus 200. Will he take this free 700 damage? It's not worth activating anything on that. And his turn, he will be able to use the banished pile to make a level six synchro, but only during the opponent's main phase or battle phase. I activate my monster's effect. Spectral Sword, what was denied on the previous turn, he is activating now. Gonna banish the level six to make a level eight synchro from the extra deck. I special summon a monster. I activate my monster's effect. Activate the Shogun Saga, banishing the Squire to gain 1,500 attack, making him 4,500 attack. Also drawing a card to then discard. Also reducing the Rion to zero. What is he discarding? Is he setting up for next turn? Is there going to even be a next turn? Did something happen to the player? Are they truly putting this much time to... Oh, discarded a Phoenix Chain. He truly was here. He was choosing between a Fiendish Chain and his Spectral Sword. Rion is going to activate, attempting the Synchro Summon. Fiendish Chain is going to negate. Cosmic Cyclone to counter the negate. You will not negate me. Not today. Does he have another? He discarded his other fiendish chain. That might cost him the duel. Okay. I think we'll summon a monster. Come forth. Insectron. You take zero damage this turn, and Insectron cannot be destroyed. He's gonna synchro into a level 10. Level 10 Sun Saga. Return up to two cards back into your extra deck. Get popping, only returns one, takes out the Smiger, swings into the powered Insectron. It cannot be destroyed. It's my turn. I draw. I know what to do. I summon a monster. He's not ending his turn. He's summoning. My monster's effect. Scrap Recycler sending up this friend from the deck to the graveyard. He's still got plays left in him. My monster's effect. This burn banish. Grab a Crystron monster. This is the turning point monster. right here. What he does this turn will decide the victor of the duel. Zaga Zaga is going all out next turn. A second Sun Saga will be summoned. Sulfonir on the field. Sulfonir will help soften the newly summoned Sun Saga. Sets a Crystron impact. Now when Sun Saga is summoned, it does not target with its destruction. This will be quite the overextension from Zaga Zaga if it does not fully pay off. That's it. He's expending his second and last 
Big Boss Monster. Double the Sun Saga. Activate, returning the Shogun Saga. Destroy one card on the field. Now it does not target. He's gonna chain Christron Impact to summon a banished Christron onto the field. He has no idea what is about to be destroyed. He just pops the Christron Impact. He does not want to pop the field. He wants to keep the field clogged. He's not trying to unclog the field. Clearing the field is not his objective. Summons another Thisburn. Yet here he is attacking into the Powered Insectron. Conflicting plays. Choosing to destroy the Christron Impact and then taking out the Powered Insectron. Is his timer low? Draws a card, sets a card, ends his turn. No Quarion play. Where is the Quarion? He already made the big Black Horse Dragon. He needs to summon Quarion to wrap up this duel. If he could not get to his Quarion, he will lose. The Sun Sagas are making his field completely indestructible. But his one last hope is to banish the field. It looks like he's losing badly, but Urbel could turn this entire duel around with one card, one synchro. Lancia! Oh no! Lancia is negating all banishing for the rest of the turn. You cannot banish! Negating the Thisverns. He has nothing to discard to summon Sulfonir. Tie that binds. Here I go. Honorable I Sudoku. <laughs> 800 life left. Lancia halted every play he could make. He could have added at least two cards from the deck to his hand, summon his Sulfonir, make a Synchro. Just like that, Zaga, Zaga barely coming back in game number two, but then winning it all in game number three. Zaga, Zaga is your meta champion champion. As the one true king. The true king has won. Full deck type breakdown, the most played deck. Wow. It is Christron's. Unbelievable. Top 32 breakdown. Boom. One Ritual Beast, and he did so well. He made the top four. One Mayakashi, one, two stall decks. Are you serious? I'm sorry. We have to share the stall decks. It's going to spread throughout the KC Cup. It's not my fault. All, I, all I'm here, it, I'm just here to provide incentive for the best players in the world, okay? All right, your top two. Urbel getting second place and Zaga Zaga again first. We'll look at Urbel's deck first. Ty, that binds. Shura Nui, level augmentation. Two Fiendish Chains, one Divine Wrath. Divine Wrath, similar to Fiendish Chain, cannot be negated by the Christron Impact. So that is a very good, good card to use. Top 32 in a random order. Fusion Gate, one Fusion Gate. I love playing multiple, but it's not defensive if you can't. If you don't have the plays to make with it, then you will get destroyed by your opponent. But otherwise, it's an amazing card. I love it. Black Wings, looking quite standard to me. Nothing special here. A Stall deck. There you go. Stall. Sealed Tombs with the Black Wings. Standard, Harmatin and Panaki. Wait, 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 not playing. Sealed Tombs is not standard, but there you go. Triple Cosmic Cycle to trigger the Sealed Tombs. Nice. Sealed Tombs Mayakashi. Write this deck down. This is the deck you want. Dark Magician. Herald of the Abyss. Sealed Tombs. Mythic Depths Crystrons. Sealed Tombs Heroes. Seal Tombs of the Way, Cosmic Cyclone to trigger the skill. Byru, Mythic Depths, Standard on Standard. I believe, I think this is card for card what we used on my YouTube video, besides 
The Black Rose being a Brionic instead. Very good. Again, another stall deck. A 21 card stall deck with Shadow Game. Two of these in the top 32. Level Augmentation. Another way to play Shiranui with the Unending Nightmare. Gallo ST, Sealed Tomb. Sealed Tombs, Dark Magician seems to be the way. Destiny Draw, Invoked, Almond Saber. Playing Malo instead of a Cockatiss. That is insane. Goki. Sealed Tombs, Goki. Cyber Style with Triple Fusion Gate. Mine. That's my deck. That's a yoink. I am taking this. Yes. Cyber Style to Triple Fusion Gate. It's consistent enough where we got top 32. I love it. One Fusion Gate, Cyber Style. Okay. Similar to the other build we saw. More Sealed Tombs, Dark Magician. Lots of Dark Magician. Chris Strong's most played in the top 32. Machina playing See You Later. Matsu Cyber Style. No Fusion Gate. Mythic Depths. Standard on top of Standard. Level Augment, Shura Nui. They're all looking quite similar. All right. Christrons. This is the cookie cutter Christron. Time that binds. Ritual Beast. K. Beautiful deck. Another. Another build. Another Goki. Tie that binds. Lancia. Herald of the Abyss. CC. Heavy Starter. Heavy Starter. Christrons. Okay. Mythic Depth Spell Vanishing. Karaki, 21 cards, Shiranui. See you later, Christrons with Charge of the Light Brigade. This is quite popular in the Meta Weekly. Level Augmentation, Ghost Meets Girl. That's the full top 32.